All right, let's uh, get a look at the weather now. Heat wave conditions uh, uh, continuing over a few places in western Rajasthan and at some places over East Rajasthan as well. In fact, uh, in uh, uh, Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh, uh, there's been a severe uh, heat wave. In Gujarat as well, one person has died because of heat wave conditions. My colleague uh, Divya now joining us uh, for more on that. Uh, Divya, uh, heat wave conditions in Gujarat for the moment. We're seeing temperatures there hover at about 45 degrees. Uh, what can we expect here in the capital in the next uh, coming week or so? Yes, Barney, uh, the situation is really bad as far as Gujarat's concerned. And like you mentioned, the temperature there is almost 45 degrees. The situation there as well as in Rajasthan is pretty bad. As far as the capital is concerned, the temperature is coming in at 43 degrees, which is 4 degrees above the norm. And there is no respite in store. Like you asked, uh, over the next two days, we can't expect any relief. But uh, a western disturbance is likely to affect the northwest plains, which is when the temperatures are likely to fall. And some showers can be expected. But for the next two days, it's likely to be very hot. Heat conditions are prevailing in Gujarat, in Rajasthan, in West Madhya Pradesh as well as with Harb. Now all these places the temperatures up at more than 5 degrees from what's usually expected there at this time of the year. As far as Rajasthan is concerned, a dust storm is at hand today as well as tomorrow. Those situations and those conditions are likely to be seen in Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh as well as Delhi. But in Rajasthan we can expect showers uh, by tomorrow but uh, as far as the temperatures are concerned they're going to be really high. As far as the monsoon is concerned everyone's just waiting for the monsoon because the heat is unrelenting. In fact, monsoon is likely to make an appearance in Kerala by the 30th. For now, it's in the islands of Andaman and Nicobar as well as Andaman Sea, as well as areas of Bay of Bengal. Now, in the coming 24 hours, it's likely to cover these areas completely and then move towards Kerala. And then uh, it's likely to move in towards the northeast as well. So the monsoon has two branches. That's the Bay of Bengal branch as well as the Arabian Sea branch. It moves from the southern part of the country. That's where it enters from, as well as the northeast side. So it comes in from both these angles and it makes its way up for it to reach Delhi that will be around the 1st of July.